Okay. Now, remember what I said. Your father isn't himself. Sometimes he gets very sad and he doesn't feel like talking. I know. I'm not going to freak out or anything. Don't worry. We should probably check with Philip's nurse before we go in. Okay. okay. I'll wait here. No. Why don't you come with us? I thought we were going to work on trusting me, remember? Don't make a move for that door until we get back, Lizzie. I won't. popping up all over the place, aren't you? Well, you shouldn't be surprised to see me here, Lizzie. You know that I care about your father, and I want him to get better. You could have said all that in a greeting card. Hmm. But whatever, now that you're here, I'm glad to see that you're getting back to your old self again. You know exactly what I mean. I tried to get you to come here with me to show Dad that we were friends again and we'd put all of our differences behind us. But no, you're too selfish to do something like that. <laughs> well, actually, even I'm too honest for that, Lizzie, because we're not friends and we haven't put anything behind us. Did you just say that you were honest? Shouldn't you get struck by a lightning bolt for something like that? Uh, you're wait. cute. Oh, wait, wait. While you're on this whole honesty kick, you know, you don't honestly think that my dad's going to want any future with you after this. No baby, no deal, sorry. You screwed up things with my grandfather and now you are just fresh out of Spalding Men to sink your claws into. So why don't you take this whole honesty thing to Homewreckers Anonymous and call it a day, because you're finished here. 